it's better to be prepared for an opportunity that never arises than unprepared for one that does. So I would say prepare right now as if the economic climate is going to get better in three months. And if it doesn't, that's okay. Then just continue preparing. And if it takes three years to get out of this mess, then just keep preparing. But at some point it's going to get better and you are going to be ready. I'm a huge believer in putting the vast majority of our focus, attention, and energy into the things we have control over yeah. on some level, learning to let go of the things that we don't and the things that are outside of our control. This doesn't mean that they're not real. It doesn't mean that they're not valid. It just means that no matter how much you focus on them, it's not going to change. And high interest rates, banks are failing, inflation, you know, and all of that stuff absolutely has an effect on the real estate market. But as an individual, you don't control any of those things. So the more time you spend anxious, worried, focused on the things outside of your control, it starts to detract from the things you do have control over. So while the economic climate may not be ideal, and it's certainly not preferred if you're in the business of selling homes, no matter how upset or stressed you get, it ain't going to change those things. So the only thing you can do is have the discipline and self-awareness to pour your attention and love into the things that you do have control over. And you can start planting those seeds now because at some point, the things outside of your control, they will improve. Absolutely, they will improve. Now, I certainly don't know if they'll improve in two months or two years. Uh, I don't know that anyone knows that, but they will improve. That is the way that the world works. Anytime there's a dip, there's going to be you know, a peak at some point. So the question is, are you making the deposits now and planting the seeds now so that when things do get better, you'll be better than ever? I mean, that's the only option we have. And, and I will say to anyone listening that is struggling at present, that is stressed out, that is worried about that, that is anxious, I have nothing but empathy and compassion for you. Uh, I'm not saying that this is easy and I'm not saying that your feelings aren't valid. They most definitely are. But at some point, I would encourage you and hopefully try to nudge you towards not worrying about those things or focusing on them. You can be aware of them, but double down on the things you have control over. And our morning and evening routine, our personal self-care, our relationships, our ability to create and put out valuable content, like these are all things on our side of the fence that we can double down on. To me, mental toughness is acknowledging that all I can control is doing the best I can with what I have, wherever I am. That's it, full stop. Every day when I wake up, I'm gonna do the best I can with what I have, where I am. All of the outside circumstances and events, they're going to continually change, but nothing can prevent me from doing the best I can with what I have, wherever I am. And a, and a, a tear off of that is the reason I love that as a foundational mantra is it eliminates a trilogy of behaviors that undermines people's performance undermines success, undermines fulfillment. I know these things firsthand and they're the automatic default for most human beings walking the earth. And that is blaming, complaining and making excuses. Yep. And there is never, especially in the real estate market, there has never been a greater time to fall to the temptation of blaming, complaining and making excuses. And to be crystal clear, because I don't want anyone to think I'm tone deaf, all of the things that uh, Nick, you just mentioned the inflation, the, the banks collapsing, the uh, rising interest rates. Those things are real. I'm not saying that they're not real. What I'm saying is blaming, complaining and making excuses about them isn't going to help you sell any more houses and isn't going to help you be a better version of yourself. So to me, it's about letting go of the things that are holding us down and anchoring us down and focusing on the things we do have control over. And when you can do that, you become emotionally agile. And if you are not emotionally agile, you are emotionally fragile. And one thing I can promise you, when the economic times are less than preferred and things are tough, if you are, if you are emotionally fragile, you've got almost no chance to weather the storm. If you are emotionally agile, you can take anything the world throws at you and plant those seeds, focus on your self-care, um, forge the relationships, and keep finding ways to be of service. Imagine three years from now, things get better and you've been doing nothing but twiddling your thumbs for three, three years Make and you're not going to reap any benefits. So yeah. I know what I'm saying is very a matter of fact. I know that there's some people that are, are still scared and worried and anxious, people that might have to make some changes to their current spending habits and so forth. All of that is very real. 
but but just focus on the things you have control over have the discipline to stay in the, the game long term and i'm telling you you will remember this conversation and you'll be so grateful that you did